Did you reset a thing in the space bar, right? Everybody. It's the welcome to the show quick hit. Always with technical difficulties. We should just rename the show to Technical Difficulties CT. How to fix technical difficulties. How to fix technical difficulties. What's good, buddy? How's it going? I'm alive, bro. Alive and well. I see that. Let's get to some baseball headlines. (laughs) I got you, man. Here we go. Ready? The Cubs were one of three MLB teams that declined to participate in a coronavirus study. A report says. What does that report say? What does that report say, uh, Manny? Tom Zimmer. Wow. A scout for the Giants. And son of former Cubs manager Don Zimmer. Get it? Yeah. Uh, He's tested negative. He knows he tested negative because he mixed his blood with a few drops of a solution in a device that provided the results in 10 minutes. People, I think we're on the brink of a breakthrough to get sports back on schedule. What do you say? KCT, can I ask you a question? Yes. Does he have the solution just hidden in his cabinet, medicine cabinet? What I've pieced together using my brain in this article that I'm looking in front of me is yeah. that first time the, you're reading this, by the way, right? Excuse me. First time you read this article just now. First time logged onto my computer, mm. played my jingle that I play for myself to get to get me going for this uh, <laughs> 10 minute segment that we do. And what I'm piecing together here with this article is that the study conducted by some university I'm not seeing it here in the uh, in the report Stanford. Mm. Uh, it looks like that is the test that they're running. Um, okay. Where it's gonna, the results will come be, be available like in ten minutes. So I think it's very, very good news. Uh, some other, so, <laughs> some other news. <laughs> MLB may ask players to take additional pay cuts if games are played without fans. So you know that earlier, I think they received the uh, half of their salary to start the year. I guess something yeah. like it was like once 170 million or something. 170 million, but if games, if the season does resume. I think that's half of their – that was used to pay half of their salaries. But if the season does come back without fans, I don't think they'll be getting any additional mm. salary. They might have to be asked to take additional pay cuts. Uh, it's more of a problem for minor leaguers and rookies, not Mike Trout and other guys. True. Uh, I read another article where some people are they, – they were discussing if some Hall of Famers, soon-to-be Hall of Famers, may no longer get to the Hall of Fame because of the season that's no longer being played. And I'm just going to read off some names. Joey Votto, I agree with. I agree, yeah. Uh, Jacob DeGrom, I also agree. Okay. Although I think that if he put together another Cy Young season three in a row, I think you he would have, have been to give it, You have to yeah. put him in, regardless no matter of his what. career stats, yeah. Yeah, but he's so old now. So Josh Donaldson, 34 years old, 41.0 war. Uh, the average Hall of Fame third baseman war is 68.4. So, hmm. yeah. And a surprising name, Matt Chapman. Surprising because he's he would be entering his fourth season. Uh, but I believe he'd be 27 now or 26. Uh, they're saying that he's putting together the first three seasons that he put together, similar to Mike Trout, Albert Pujols, and Ted Williams, who are three Hall of Fame players, uh, or soon to be Mike Trout and Albert Pujols. And he's putting together a uh, total of eight WAR in his first three. Se- not total, each season, eight. He's on pace to being a Hall of Famer, but because his skill set is is based off athleticism and all that stuff. The older he gets, the less likely he'll be able to perform all those feats. Hey, CT, uh, I yes. just want to point out, Ted Williams went to war, and he came back, and he made it to the Hall of Fame. So Matt Chapman, 20, he's going to be 27 in a few days. He should be fine. I, I think he'll be fine. I don't know why his name was in there. Okay. Uh, so there is a ongoing simulation of the MLB season by this company or su- – program called out of the park 21 i gotta read more into that i should know that uh and in that season they're in their third week chris bryan has been suspended because he got into a scuffle with adam wainwright which will never happen in our league because i don't even think (laughs) i I just don't see it happening uh cody bellinger and jock peterson have been extended by the dodgers cody bellinger signs an eight-year extension with 195 million dollars guaranteed he'll make Uh, yeah yeah, no, seriously. <laughs> Eugenio Suarez continues to hit home runs. Matt Chapman and Josh Hader hit the IL. And the early Cy Young candidate in that simulated season is Giants lefty Tyler An- Anderson. Hmm. Uh, and the last thing I got, Manny, if you if you will let me. Yeah, continue, uh, please. If, you, if you've been following this Bleacher Report steroid binge that they've been on, they dropped the Mitchell Report from 2007. And it was a 
trip down memory lane reading these names and some new names that I forgot had been on there or had didn't know in the first place. Yeah. Uh, like David Justice. Rick, Rick Ankeel. Rick Ankeel is one of them. Yep. Yep. I, Chuck, R- Chuck Knobloch. Chuck Knobloch. Kevin Brown. I, I like when seeing his name, it, it triggered. Yeah, I remember his name being thrown out there, but I completely forgot that he was implicated. Mike Stanton. Troy Glaus. Wow. Really? Huh. A lot of names, man. Paulo Duca, not surprised. Not surprised. He's a he's a jerk. You know that I've taken up enough time. Why don't you take hey, it away? Let's stick with baseball. Alex Rodriguez new CT. Alex Rodriguez. There it is. Um, Alex Rodriguez was mentioned during a during Joey Gallo's Twitch. Joey Gallo, by the way, extended his record to eleven and one in the players league. Uh, it's actually a little bit. I, I watched his stream today just to find this comment. It was it was a bit entertaining. He has a bit of a twitch himself. Catch you understand? You understand that? He has. Okay. He does has like an actual like a like a twitch. Anyway, um, so he was asked in between games why he wears number thirteen, and he mentioned how he was a big Yankees fan, but he couldn't wear number two in little league because the coach's son wore number two. So he figured, I'm a third baseman. I hit for power. I like Alex Rodriguez. Alex Rodriguez is a Yankee. He plays third base. He hits for power. I'm going to wear number 13. So when Joey Gallo became a big leaguer and decided, I'm going to share this story with Alex Rodriguez, Alex Rodriguez responded with, who the hell are you? What a dick. Um, yeah, but how do, we don't know the context of that who the hell <laughs> thing. He, he was, you know. Usually just, he's usually he's he's uh, he's known for being good with young players, but. I guess exactly. So, so I I doubt that A Rod sees a prospect MLB guy bigger than him, and he was like, "Who the hell are you?" One day we're gonna do just an A Rod theme episode just for you, CT. Um, All right. T- top five NFL merch sales, CT, from March 2019 to February 2020. Patrick Mahomes is number one on that list. Can you guess the next four? Bet you can't. Josh, Josh Allen? No, no, man, no, <laughs> no, no, no. 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 Is Tom Brady on that list? He's number two. I wish I had a. I wish I had sound effects. Ding. But this is this is like his Bucks gear or his. So Patriot. it's from March 2019 to February 2020. I don't think he signed with the Bucks yet. At that mm. point. But mm. I bet. I bet updated. I I had read recently that his Bucks jersey is the number one jersey currently. Odell uh, Beckham. No. All right. I'll just finish it off for you, man. You're you're bad at this. You got Lamar Jackson, <laughs> Ezekiel Elliott, and Baker Mayfield. I don't understand why Baker's on that. Last story before we get to today's quick topic, because we're down to two minutes left. The NBA Horse Challenge concluded. It was an eight-player challenge. It included Chauncey Billups, Michael Conley, Zach Levine, Ali Quigley, Chris Paul, Trey Young, Tamika Catchings, and Paul Pierce. The champion of the league is Mike Conley Jr., who defeated Zach Levine in three rounds. By the way, Zach, Le- I-, I started watching some of this stuff. Mike Conley's a freak. Just Yes. It was poorly produced, the show. I felt like they should have taken some time to make the quality a little bit better. But at the end of the day, some of it was pretty entertaining. It was it was something to watch. So go check it out if you have the time on ESPN. CT, today's topic isn't much of a topic, but more some recommendations. We have some what to watch for this weekend. We have some appointment viewing on Sunday. The Last Dance, the final run with Michael Jordan and the Bulls. Uh, it's a docu-series by ESPN, which was supposed to be released later on this year, but they've moved it up. What they're going to do is they're going to release two episodes every Sunday for the next five weeks. So 10 hours of Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls starting this Sunday at 9 p.m. You're going to get episode one and two. Will you be watching, CT? Of course, man. Love Jordan. Hey, Jordan. For for, for all the right reasons, I hate Jordan. Not I don't hate him as a person. I don't hate him as a player. I think he was he's by far the greatest player of all time. Well... Maybe yeah, LeBron, but I know I know who you really think is the greatest player. It's, it's LeBron James. But so you saying era, by far? But it's but it's a different game, so it's hard to compare. You know what I mean? I don't know okay. if Jordan it would be the same kind of player today. Let's let's not get into that now. Yeah, we have fifty seconds left. Um, also, but I will be. So I hated him because he prevented my New York Knicks from winning a goddamn championship, and that pisses me off. All right, and now we have to take the uh, kids' restriction off of this since you dropped the uh, the god. I'm sorry. The god. I'm sorry, man. So with Listen, 30 seconds another, left, CT, it, what are you going to be watching this weekend? What are you doing eighth, this weekend in, while in quarantine? I'll be watching the eighth episode of Tiger King, which is more of a, like a recap of when the series has been released now With besides the Tiger King. Not, in, not including the Tiger King. I'll be watching the, uh, the eighth episode. Take, should take me about 40 minutes, so... 
have the rest of the day to do something else. As a person who's obsessed with Tiger King, I already watched it. It's with Joel McHale. It, you'll learn some new things, but the Tiger King is not involved. Four seconds. You are. CT, you want the final you are the tiger, you're the tiger King. These are facts. At WT The Show, comment, uh, subscribe, rate, review. 